Hello everyone and welcome back to Addo's Playtime. Today we're jumping back into Oxygen Not Included. Where we last left off, we were getting ready to cap off uh, this geyser over here because it was spreading in a whole bunch of natural gas which is causing our dupes a little bit of stress and a little bit of problem. Uh, I believe we set that on a priority 9 to get done as quick as possible uh, so that we can get this capped off and that's all good because we are probably going to be putting our self-powered oxygen maker in this area so that we can sieve out the polluted oxygen here and move on um our food supply is looking pretty good with 44,000 calories uh the hatches are up and going and we should have nothing but sand sedimentary rock going in here which is up in the chances for our hatches to have stone hatches now this will go up over time um, and we will just continue to let that happen the next thing I want to try to do, because we are running really low on algae, um, in our algae overlay, we can see that we have two big pockets of algae right here. I'm going to go and dig these out first things first. Um, at the same time, I might even try to explore this, uh, this vent or geyser, whatever is right here uh, on top of this niobium. I'm sure it won't be what we want, as we found out in the last one that we have an iron volcano here which I thought was not an iron volcano, but you know, that's how oxygen not included does to you sometimes. So anyways, uh, yeah, we will be putting in our self-powered oxygen maker right here. We'll be getting that done as quickly as possible because I want to get off the algae as soon as I possibly can. Another thing that I'm going to be doing is because we are starting to get a whole lot of uh, slime lung germs in our base. Um, I might be doing a giant disinfect here real quick lock everybody in let them disinfect anything um, now it will go away in the oxygen this these germs will go down over time it just takes a while um, slime along is not too bad it just kind of gives them an uncomfortable debuff even if the algae has a uh, slime lung on it the diffuser does not put out germs of um, that I can see uh, as and but it is getting all over everything now we have some coal that obviously had some slime lung on it um, we are putting some slime in here, but that's not too big a deal. Uh, it's not off-gassing or anything. So, yeah, I think the first order of business will be to go in here and pick up some of this algae or oxid uh, our diffusers so we can kind of, you know, get, get ourselves settled until we get our self-powered oxygen maker. Um, I will be going for the full Rodriguez. Uh, if you've ever seen anything on Reddit or see any kind of playthroughs, uh, the full Rodriguez is the cat's pajamas, as they say. And we will be doing that as soon as we possibly can. I will lay it out and I will show you what it looks like. And we will go from there. All right, so we set up a little bit of dig commands here. And they're going to kind of do this a little, uh, this two little pockets here. I'm going to try to do some angle building here so we do not lose any of this algae. As it's a very important to us. I'm kind of popping this open a little bit to get some airflow down in here to get a little bit more breathable oxygen into this area. I might even dig out those couple spots too um, and make sure that we prioritize those like we did everything else just to let that air flow down in here so we don't have them running back and forth. The only reason is, is we have some oxalite right here that we can use to kind of oxygenate this area i mean it's 1500 and it kind of fades off as we get closer over here but 500 600 kilos or grams of oxygen um is going to be plenty for breathable um so they're going to take care of all this algae they're going to get it hopefully back into the base as soon as possible and then we will uh keep plugging away at it from there all right everybody so this is the basic floor plan of what our self-powered oxygen maker is going to be um, so as far as I know and can remember, I had to honestly look up some plans um, to remember it. Uh, I have drawn this out several times and I am going to probably um, refer back to my drawings quite a few times throughout making this because it's been so long since I've actually played this game. But anyways, um, so this is the basic floor plan of it. We have some airflow tiles here that are made out of uh, gold amalgam. Uh, we have some gold amalgam doors and i just went with sandstone because it's so plentiful and honestly i don't it doesn't it's not going to get too hot in here that i think i need something like igneous rock or things of that nature if i have to rip it out and do it again and use igneous rock so be it 
but uh, basically this is going to be a floor of hydrogen generators uh, we will have a, another hydrogen generator with a large transformer here and a small transformer here approximately um, and then a smart battery on this floor on this this level this will be where we trap all of our hydrogen uh, there will be one pump here pumping just the hydrogen and there will be several pumps here um, pumping out 500 kilos of oxygen so we'll be combining those two uh, pumps uh, into one vent and it'll go across here and or across here the reason we're kind of building here is mostly because of this ice biome here we can utilize this to cool our oxygen if we need to plus if you look under the ventilation an anti nullifier thing i can't remember exactly what it's called is here so if this starts to heat up because of our oxygen then what we can do is plug into this with our extra hydrogen that we absolutely will be making and we can um cool off this oxygen behind it so that is kind of the plan right now um and we will be kind of staying staying here to watch this get built um, at the same time we'll be monitoring uh our oxygen in base so we will um i will pop back in when i get some more things on this done in the meantime of the self-powered oxygen maker we have had a blueprint activation um i re ooh boy that's a good one um i oh, can't do excavation that's terrible um we will check this out the coal looks pretty enticing actually we have a builder decorator farmer and a digging farmer builder actually she looks really good decreased in construction that's pretty terrible uh, a rock fan bonus hmm if it wasn't for the building impaired i would probably take this person i think i'm just going to take the coal for now so we'll take the coal get the free power um we want to try to up our dupes to probably about a 14 calorie count is looking really good so we could probably move up to about 14 dupes and when that happens i'm going to redesign the base to be more kind of dupe friendly we're going to maybe expand the dining hall up a, up a floor and make it something amazing maybe we'll put the dining over here so that and then the beds underneath that i mean pretty soon this this water is going to be gone and we'll have to rethink our water situation but that's not too big of a deal uh, but the main thing is is that uh, we get the base kind of optimized and we can just go from there um, but yeah so for now we'll just keep plugging away at this and uh, i'll pop back in when we get something done All right, and with this last tile, this should be the end of the basic build of the self-powered oxygen maker. Now, with all this done, let's go ahead and rip out these ladders and get that out of the way. Uh, we're also going to deconstruct that. Um, go in here and rip out our power lines that are here. Don't need those anymore. Now, from this point, let's look at our resources. We have about a thousand kilos of gold. Now, everything up here is going to have to be made out of gold. So the first thing we're going to do is build one of these and have it that way. And we're going to make that out of gold. And then we're going to put in a hydrogen generator here made out of gold amalgam. And then we're going to get a smart battery made it get out of gold. And then we're going to have a power transformer, make it out of gold amalgam. And it should go here facing that direction. So this is going to be the first floor. Now, 
Uh, we're going to have three of these made out of gold amalgam again. One, two, three. Uh, to get that going, then we will have some... So this is what the next floor is going to look like. So these are going to be all of our hydrogen generators that will power everything in here. We have a four electrolyzer set up. We have these uh, six will be for the oxygen. This one will be specifically for hydrogen. The automation wire is made out of gold and it is connecting all these to this smart battery. And from there, we will hook up our power. Now, the good thing about this is, is that you can use the conductive wire to do all this stuff. And this conductive wire will be made out of gold. So uh, we will have the, the bulk of our power coming from this. And I believe in this one, again, I'll have to look at my notes. This one will be powering the electrolyzers on this side. And I believe one air pump. And then this will be powering everything else. So uh, we can put 2,000 2, uh, watts through this conductive wire. So we will definitely kind of add this up and make sure that I'm right. Um, but yeah, this should be how it is set up. Uh, now, once again, these are all made out of gold amalgam uh, or gold, as it is the only high temperature resource we have. But the temperatures in here should never get above about 90, maybe at best. I, I, I don't I've ran these for hundreds and hundreds of cycles and it's never gotten uh, too high. Um, I mean, it's melting point is a thousand. I, I've never come even close to that. The worst thing is, is that you do have to figure out how to cool off your oxygen. Um, the water will come in. It doesn't matter what temperature it really comes in. The oxygen at max will come out at about 70 C um, and the hydrogen as well. But the hydrogen gets just the heat gets destroyed by these power generators and that's it. So let's let the dupes kind of tackle this and we'll pop back in when something interesting happens. All right, so now we have all of the cabling in. So what I did here is I went ahead and put a heavy watt joint plate um, right here made of gold amalgam. You guessed it. And then all of the wires here are made of gold amalgam. Um, this is only going to need to power these two. So it's kind of overkill for these two things, but we're going to go with it anyways. And then um, all this conductive wire, the max load on it should be somewhere. I mean, it's two kilowatt of power. The max run on it, let's see, should be somewhere around, I think, 1900, 1800 total kilowatts of power being used. So we're definitely well within this thing's capabilities, plus this wire here. So we're going to let our dupes put all this stuff together and let them continue building it. Uh, we still got a few more things to do. Um, we're kind of out of gold, so we're just kind of waiting on gold. In the meantime, we have a printer pod activation. So let's see what we got. So as you can see here, we got Steve, who is a mighty beastie boy with a 13th straight. The unfortunate thing is he cannot do any build errands. Now, he is incredibly tempting just because we can use him to do digging only, um, but that doesn't really come in handy late game. Um, farming and operating, not really important anymore. Uh, the fungal spore would be nice to have, but um, I, I'm not really, I'm not ready to do anything with the dust caps yet. But over here with suit wearing and digging and excavation four with athletics of four, um, decreased germ resistance, seeing as how we're in that biome, we might want to take Max. So Max is going to get renamed Rocky with an IE even. <laughs> yeah, no copyright infringements here. So we're going to print off Rocky and we are going to get him started right away. Uh, first things first is we'll put him on his new schedule here with Mole Man. Uh, we will give him his one skill point that's already there into hard digging so that he can actually participate in most everything we're going to have him do. Um, so we'll let him get acclimated to the to the group. We will make sure that we assign Rocky a bed and we will give him also a table. Uh, so this leaves room for basically two more, well, one more dupe as far as beds go. Um, so we sounds feels like we need a new bedroom. Um, 
but we are getting up to our i'm gonna try to get up to maybe 13 dupes and this uh this time around um and we will keep going at it um i might even keep rocky in here to do some stuff around the base uh, it seems like a good idea um, i am still seeing quite a bit of slime lung being in the base it's not as bad as it was before it doesn't seem like as many things are infected with slime lung and the germs are dying off but one thing i'd like to do is put a row of we got a lot of polluted oxygen up here at the top i think i want to put um, a few rows of deodorizers up here and try to take care of some of that that nasty oxygen that's floating around at the top so i'm gonna do that real quick and i'll be right back that should handle pretty much all of that nasty oxygen up there so we'll let them just do this maybe rocky can get on it uh speaking of which his priorities rocky will be prioritizing building and digging um and then after that he can help out around with some operating and that'll that'll keep him pretty busy inside the base we won't let him out just yet so we'll let this uh get built see if rocky gets up there and does it if he does great if he doesn't okay somebody will build it uh, in the meantime we are going to start in on this now one thing we were going to have to do is we're going to have to prime the system so one of the things we will do is probably put a few uh maybe two two lines of uh coal generators here that can prime this system get it up and running and then we will just disconnect it from there um yeah so let me kind of get a little bit more of this um taken care of uh and we will uh come back when i get the piping in and all that stuff okay so this is how we're going to be setting up the pipes now uh these are going to be basically putting out one kilo of oxygen um per line here um, these are going to basically provide a little self-cooling through this. Um, so these are all radiant pipes that feed through to the, um, hydrogen generators. And then we're going to have this bridge off so that we can store up some hydrogen if we need to. Uh, then the, this is a radiant pipe so we can get a little bit of self-cooling and like I said, it deletes the heat as soon as it passes into these hydrogen or er, oxygen diffusers here. And uh, so then the oxygen is going to come out at whatever the temperature, the temperature of the water can be 100 degrees, but it's still only going to come out as 70 C water or oxygen and hydrogen. So uh, the hydrogen generators, they eat all that heat made out of gold amalgam. They're never going to have anything go wrong with them. But this just adds a little bit of cooling because there is going to be a lot of heat generated in here between the transformers, the batteries, and the hydrogen generators. So this is almost complete. We will let the dupes just kind of continue on with this and we'll go from there. One thing that I almost forgot was we will need to sieve this water before it even goes into there. So I've set myself up a little place to do some water sieve right there. Um, we're going to set this right here to just all the polluted water water um so if anything is up and around we'll get that out there but yeah uh, i'm gonna bring this up here uh we're gonna prioritize all this right here to a level seven so we get that done uh, in a hurry um but yeah we'll let the dupes go ahead and get this kind of going and we'll see you in a few minutes So I was checking on our project up here to see how far along we had gotten with this. Um, and I discovered our first stone hatch egg. Oh yeah, we want that baby as soon as possible. Um, which one of these is about closest to being done? So we will turn you off of continuous and we will replace you with the stone hatch eggs as soon as possible possible because we definitely want to start getting some stone hatch eggs so that we can start feeding them whatever we want we can start feeding them all this silly stand sandstone that we really don't want anymore uh you can feed them all of the different kinds of rocks that you don't care about um we may even try to do some hatchlings up here with some gold amalgam um i think we have 70 70 tons of it so just to get some free gold because uh you know 
crushing it in the rock crusher is great and all but you only get about 50 percent of the mass so it's kind of you're losing a lot of gold amalgam every time you do it or any other you know resource that you have now um we'll definitely try to get that going maybe we can get some smooth hatch because hatches going uh in this top row just for fun just to have something different um feed them all kinds of ores and let them just chomp down on it um, but we are making some pretty good headway here uh we've got a lot to still do um i'm making sure that there's a ladder to get down here to get to these diffusers because we're using those pretty heavy to get this keep this polluted oxygen from um doing anything the the pressure is pretty high with the carbon dioxide it's not off gassing but very often but we still have some polluted oxygen floating around and we're going to have to get these things uh going and get all this oxygen pumped out of here um so yeah we're going to tell say when it's above that we're going to turn off for now because we don't really care uh, we don't want them making those funny noises so we're going to pump all the oxygen out of this first and then we're going to start this thing up and then boom it's done so hopefully we will have this about done and we can start thinking about sealing it up and sucking the oxygen off i'm gonna set up the coal generators right here real quick and i will pop back in when that's all done all right so our coal generators are in place and it's time i think to wall this up uh i did a double check to make sure that everything looked good uh, and that we were ready to rock. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a ladder actually right there and deconstruct that. Um, we're going to put that as a priority seven so that gets done. Same as these. And we will priority seven these guys as well. Go ahead and change these things priority to five because we don't really need those to be that high. We can actually change these priorities to five as well. Um, and then we will up the priority of these guys to make sure that they get fuel when they need it. Um, but yeah, once we get this walled in, it's going to be time to... Um, oh, we may have a little bit of a problem. We may have too much pressure in here. So we may have to dig this out as well to get some... Open up some space to get some better... Uh, of under pressure so that we can get this going um, i'm going to work on that in the background looks like we have a printer pod activation let's see what we have in store today uh, we have some directlet eggs which we can use to make omelets uh tidying i don't really want that building operating suit wearing kind of just looking for some specific things right now we could take the hatchling that'll definitely help us out uh, but i think i'm going to take the Directla eggs and I'm going to go ahead and crack those and make some omelets out of them so we will crack those forever for now um, and we will come back in when we get a little bit farther I'm trying to open this up as much as I can ceiling collapse you guys okay oh boy there they got some yucky lungs and some other things going on but I'm trying to open this up as much as I possibly can I may actually just wait to crack all this open. I don't really want to get that in here just yet. I'm trying to just depressurize this because we are going to have a hard time with getting um, all this oxygen out of here if we don't. Or getting this cleaned up unless we get this filled out. Um, but yeah, I haven't... I did a sweep command so it looks like we are cleaned up. Uh, so we will go ahead and start closing this off so uh, when it's when we can, um, we can start pumping the oxygen and stuff out of this. It will take quite a bit of time, as it says, to have over 2,000 or 2 kilos of uh, oxygen and other things in here. So, anywho, we will get this going. Um, just trying to get some access around this. I'm definitely going to have to clean this disaster of a, of a <laughs> thing uh, around here cleaned up because it is looking like a mess and it is bugging me. Bugs me so when I when I see things just a complete disaster as it is. Um, but yeah, we'll keep digging away at some of this stuff to try to relieve some of this pressure. But uh, I don't know. We may have to think of another solution if we can't. If we dig all this out and it does not allow us to... Oh, what is that? A frozen fossil? I've discovered a frozen fossilized critter buried in my colony. At least one part of one. 
um, but it does not resemble any of the species we have encountered on this asteroid. Where did it come from? How did it get here? And what are what other questions might these bones hold to answer? There's only one way to find out. Do I have to harvest that? I've added a new entry to my ancient specimen. My first encounter. Oh, so it's just the same thing. Well, that's cool. What's... Oh. Oh, it, it reveals all of them? Amber fossil. There was four of them, was there not? Oh, there it is. Well, that's... Oof. That's... That's in a really ugly place. So, petrified fossil. Amber fossil. Ancient specimen fossil. And a frozen fossil. Is it really cold, too? Oh, that's super cool. Very, very awesome. So this is part of the, the new DLC stuff that I've never seen before. Man, I don't know if we'll be able to get to that one. That looks like it's in the middle of the lava biome. It's going to be terrible. Well, we are revealing a lot more of the map, though. Oh, another Niobium here. Oh, uh, last time we thought that was something cool, it ended up not being so. Um, but yeah, we will... I think once we get the oxygen, and that's not such a... A big deal we're going to do some vent exploration but i'm hoping to try to get this done by the end of this episode at least have it all nailed up and maybe we'll start it up in the beginning of the next episode but i'm gonna try to get this done and we'll go from there all right so it looks like we're just about ready to rock we have dug out this little area and i also have dug out uh this i'm gonna dig out this area it just gets us closer to that fossil anyways i'm I may have to actually dig out here as well. It's just, I'm way over pressurized and I don't have plastic and I can't pump things out, but it is popping in and out. So we are when these are above zero G, we are gonna pump all of this oxygen out of here. So hopefully we can try to pump out as much as we possibly can. I mean, there is enough airflow around here to get things moving um, and we are pulling some of this polluted oxygen into here if we have to keep going up to expand and make a make more i mean we're at the edge of the map here too so i don't really want to disturb this ice biome if i don't have to because uh, i want to use that for later and here's another oh here we go i've discovered a new a new dream analyzing building buried deep inside our asteroid it seems to contain new sp sleep specific suits these could be key to unlocking my duplicates ability to dream I've often wondered what they might be capable of one, uh, once their imaginations are awakened. Um, but yeah, so uh, I think this is actually where we're going to cut it out. I am way beyond the time that I have promised you all that I would, I would uh, keep these episodes in. Um, but we're going to pump this out and try to get this as quickly as possible. Um, we just had a printer activation. Let's see what the printer pod has in store for us. Uh, a decorator, which would be nice. So we have one dupe that is uh, has the creative state, but they only have one. Um, so I think I'm going to take take this one. And it won't let me edit their name. Okay, so Pi. It's a life of Pi. It's a very artsy movie, I think. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and take Pi here. Uh, print them off. Uh, we're going to leave them in the base. Pi gets their own cot, and they, which is the last one we have. We also give Pi one of those. We're looking at 100,000 um, calories, so we're way good on the calorie front. Um, we are out of water here. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, we can do something with that in the next episode. But yeah, we're going to pump this out. We'll probably pick up where we left off in the next episode of pumping this out and getting this all going um, and just continue to kind of dig up here to get some of this oxygen and some of this polluted oxygen um, in here and depressurize this area. We may even do something funny where we take these up here and pump that nasty oxygen up there. But uh, anyways, uh, this is Addo from Addo's Playtime. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. 
um, it does help us out on our channel. Um, hit the notification bell so you can be alerted anytime that there is an oxygen not included or any other content. And uh, take a look at what's on the screen in front of you. Uh, there's a couple suggestions and playthroughs that you might enjoy. And um, until we see each other again, keep gaming for the love of games.